Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going through my entire brush collection and I am going to declutter it. I've been thinking about doing this for quite a while, especially after I did a major declutter in my collection and it is time. I have brushes galore and I know I don't use all of them so I would like to give some of them to my daughters as well as my mom and just some of these just <laughs> aren't any good anymore period. But generally speaking, I am going to do a massive declutter. Hopefully I want to get rid of or give away a lot of brushes because I'm telling you, I'm not even using a lot of these and I've accumulated so many that I absolutely love. And while I still like some of these brushes that I'm going to be giving away, I don't need them all. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and just quickly say my Wayne Goss brushes, my Sonia G brushes, my Refer brushes, they're not going anywhere. So, you know, I'm not gonna go through each and every single one of these. I have pretty much all of the sets as well as some individuals and the beautiful holders. These are going nowhere. But my Sonia G brushes are the only ones that are in an allocated spot just because she has her own brush holders. So that's why I have all my Sonia G brushes in the holders. All right, I'm gonna go bin by bin. These were actually in my, <laughs> my beauty room closet. If you missed it, I did a full collection tour. I actually had six hours of footage six hours and I got it down to two and a half. Oh my goodness, it was quite a bit, but these were in my beauty room closet. I couldn't even tell you the last time I've used them, but some of these I actually would like to start using again. All right, so I'm gonna put it into definitely keeping, maybe, and definitely giving away. And I'm not gonna put in any particular order. This is a brush from MAC. I feel like Kelsey would probably be screaming at me right now. In fact, hey, Kelsey, Brianna Bay, <laughs> if you want this, just let your girl know. This this is the MAC 126 SE. This is going to go in the Bye Bye Ben. Uh, all right, this is a Royal N Lang Nickel Omnia BOM 141. This is a maybe. I really like these Kabuki style brushes, so it just depends on how many I have left. And then I can kind of go through and see which ones I absolutely want to keep. This I am keeping for sure. This is the MAC 135, the original one. The natural hair one, keeping this. This brush I'm actually not sure if I want to keep or not. The only reason truly that I would wanna keep it is because it's so expensive. It is nice. It's the synthetic version of the Tom Ford bronzer brush. So they went completely synthetic, so it's the number five. I'm gonna put this in the maybe. I know you guys are like, what? <laughs> this is definitely going to go. I never use this. It's the highlighting fan even tail number 122 from Sephora. I'm gonna get rid of that. I am definitely keeping this. See, this is another brush that like, I don't use. And I think it's because I don't think they make this particular one anymore. They might, but I don't know. This is the number two powder contour from Chanel. I really like that brush. I am going to give this one away. I think a lot of my MAC brushes are going to go. This is the number 116. It's a blush brush, natural hair. Uh, mm, this. <laughs> I want to keep this, but I don't need to. Again, another MAC brush. I used to have these all in my kit. So a lot of brushes you're going to see multiples of because I had them in my kit. Like It was almost all MAC brushes. This is the 138. I know I have several versions. Wayne Goss, Sonia G, Refer. I don't need this one anymore. Um, I'm definitely not going to keep this. This is from Stelazzi. It is the dual fiber mini blender. I, I don't need that one. And <laughs> see, I have a lot of collection brushes. This one, it, it's actually sticky. The actual coating on the brush is sticky, which is really weird because it's just been sitting in this bin. Uh, this is the 167 SE. I'm gonna let it go. Another fan brush. I don't use fan brushes that often. This is from Lancome. There's a tiny side and a bigger side, but they're both pretty flimsy. Oh, uh, this one's soft. Okay, I don't use this style often, but I like this style of brush. I know that probably doesn't make sense. This is the 
Royal Inlay Nickel Omnia BOM 187. I can see myself using this more and more as I start using more and more cream products. So I'm gonna keep that one. Ah, uh, the MAC 109. I wanna keep this almost just purely out of nostalgia. Pretty sure I have several of them. So I'm gonna keep one and if I find one that's softer, I will go ahead and just like, I'll pick out the softest one. This is another one, same type of style as the last brush that I kept from Royal Inlay Nickel, but it's the BOM 186. I don't think I need to have both. I remember when I loved this. Again, it was in my kit quite a bit. MAC 127 Dual Fiber. I'm letting it go. I'm just, I don't need all of these. Ugh, Royal Inlay Nickel Omnia BOM 32. This is a, I think this is dual fiber, synthetic and natural hair. I used to use this style of brush all the time to, instead of buffing, I would just take a clean brush and go over everything. I believe it was the MAC 187. I don't need that. Oh, speaking of which, is it the 187? Was I right? Yep, it is the 187. I'm going to go ahead. Oh my gosh, this is like kind of giving me anxiety now. <laughs> All right, I have, I think, the entire collection of the Kylie Jenner brushes. This was one that I didn't end up using quite often. What number are you? Number four. I don't need this one. Ooh, I like this one a lot from MAC. This was, I don't know if they came back out with it, but it was a limited edition brush initially. It's the MAC 139 dual fiber. Keeping that, <laughs> again, Kelsey. Kelsey, if you want the brushes, just let me know. <laughs> this one right here, it's great for like contour. It's great for putting on powder products and whatnot. It's, it was limited edition. I think they actually came out with this again though in the permanent line, I'm not sure. But this is the 125 SC. This is from the wash and dry. This one and this one. I mean, I used to love them. I just don't use them anymore. All right. Moda Pro BMX 130 pointed brush. This is a nice synthetic one, but I think my daughters could use that. Oh, my, okay, so Cadence isn't that into makeup, but then the other day, Emma came to me and she's like, do you have any makeup that you don't want anymore? I was like, oh, yes, I do. <laughs> All right, the MAC 167, I really like this one. This is the natural hair version. I'm gonna keep that. I'm sorry, every time I see these, I think of Kelsey. I think I'm gonna keep this one though. This is the MAC 128. It is natural and synthetic, but it's really great at putting on foundation. So I'm gonna keep that one. Um, Stelazi Dual Fiber Large Powder S306. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Oh, this one's really soft. Oh, but I've gotten a lot of synthetic brushes that I'm a big fan of. Like, would I rather keep this or the Tom Ford one? Probably the Tom Ford one, even though I don't think that that one is worth the money. I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. Did I tell you what it was? Uh, BMX 175 Flat Powder. I think I'm gonna keep this one. This fan brush is pretty good. It's from Sigma. It is the strobing fan. This is really good for those powdery highlights. It's like the perfect size and density, so I'm keeping that one. I see, I need to use that one more often. <laughs> like this standard, typical. <laughs> I cannot put on my foundation with this type of brush. I can't do it. The MAC 190, goodbye. Also going to be a good buy, the 163 from MAC. I think this was actually NAR, not NARS, MAC's attempt at the NARS Eda, but it's pretty stiff. I didn't want thoughts anymore. Do I have a little by Terry? <laughs> I don't know why I kept these. They're from the blushes. Oh, I don't use this a ton, but this is a great foundation brush, so I am going to keep it. It is the Artiste Elite Oval 7. I'm keeping that one. Wonder 2 Kabuki. Goodbye. Oh, I forgot about this brush. The MAC 159 Dual Fiber. Great for highlight. I'm, I'm keeping that one. And then, see, I kept little things like this. These came in with the Dior Highlights. I don't need those. And then this is actually pretty good at putting on liner. Mm, do I want to keep it or not? It's the Artiste Linear 1, I think. 1D or... This is a maybe. It's a maybe. I have to keep this one. This is just a memory thing for me. It is from MAC and it's basically a tinted version of a brush that they had in their collection permanently. It's their Kabuki brush, but this is the MAC Zach. Posen, so I'm gonna keep that. This brush, I have a love-hate relationship with this brush. 
I really liked it at a time and then I really didn't like it. I think it's overhyped and the more I've used it and the more I've, you know, gotten to know brushes, I just don't really care about this one. It is the Marc Jacobs, the bronze brush. I mean, it's been in my closet for how long? We're, we're just gonna let go. All right, and then we have this one from Bobbi Brown. This is a blush brush. Don't need it, definitely have more favorites. Oh, I didn't even know I had another one of these. It's an Anastasia A23. I love that brush for highlighting, so I'm keeping it. And then this is just a tool. I always use these whenever I was doing my freelance, so I would sanitize this, get the product out, and you know work with it. So this is staying. Let me put these brushes in this bin. Another brush I absolutely am not getting rid of. <laughs> I just got it, actually, for Christmas. It is from Kelsey Brianna Bay. It is the Chicahoto P8. Mm -hmm. Yes, I just have to do this just really quickly, really quickly. Okay, okay, you can go back in your home now. And yes, it has its own little holder and then I keep it in its box. I love this brush so, so much. And no, this was not in the closet. It was just sitting on my table. All right, let's mix it up a little bit. That was a little easy, I think. Let's make it a little harder. This is my drawer that I actually have. It's the one, two, third drawer down in my Cosmo Cube. And these are brushes that I use quite often. However, there's definitely some in here that I need to get rid of. So on one side, <laughs> I have basically lid brushes, packing brushes. So let's go through these really quickly. This is the Stelazi L210. I think this will be a good one for my daughters to keep. Then we have an Esom. I have a few of these. The W23, I'm keeping all of my W23s, <laughs> as well as all of my W21s. Like there's several in here, so I'm just taking those out and putting them right back in. Okay, I have a few of these, but I don't need all of them. So this is the T43 from Esom. I'm gonna get rid of this one because I know I have another one. I don't see it in like my area of vision right now, but I know that I have another one. These, the MAC 252s, I use them all the time. BK Beauty, I'm keeping all of these. The 205, and then the synthetic number 12 from Tom Ford. This one is from Kylie. I, they're not bad brushes, but as time has gone on, they have definitely gotten a little scratchier on the eye. So definitely not worth the money. And like, I don't think that they're terrible. I have continuously used them, especially when all my brushes are dirty. <laughs> so they're not my go-tos, but it's still a brush I use, but I, I don't need it. It's the number 12, I'm gonna let that one go. And then I have from Nabla, the large blender. I love this for the sides of my, oh, I, wrong pile. <laughs> We're keeping this one. Oh my gosh, I just got so confused. And then I have the soft dab and smudge from Nabla. This one is good, don't use it a lot. And then all of my MAC 239s I am keeping, whether they are the synthetic or the natural hair, I am keeping those. And then this is like a slightly thinner version from Zoeva, it is the 234, I'm keeping that. I'm gonna get rid of this one, the Elise, Elysium Alva. It's a good brush, but not one that I grab for quite a bit. The 283 from MAC I am keeping. And I'm gonna keep the Sigma Eye Shading for sure. And then Refer number two, absolutely keeping. That is the best dupe, one of the best dupes for the MAC 239, and it is natural hair. The center section houses like defining brushes, brow brushes, lower lash line brushes, things like that. So let's go through these. And I do have more that were just washed that all belong in here. So I'll probably go through all of those right after this. BK Beauty, teeny tiny little liner brush, the 208, keeping that. This is from Scott Barnes. It's the number 63. I think it's a unique brush. It definitely works, but I don't use it a lot. So I'm gonna let that one go. This one's definitely staying. I love these teeny tiny brushes like this. This is the MAC 228. And then actually I used this one today. It was scratching my eye like, like on my lid. This is the MAC 213, I'm gonna let that one go. Bristles Beauty, I'm keeping these. I love Bristles Beauty. This is the um, E04RS, it's a little smudger. 
And then my MAC 210s, I gotta keep those. And my MAC 263s, I love these for doing liner with shadow. There's something about the stiffness and everything of this brush that's perfect. It has like the perfect bend and give. I don't know, it's just perfect. Cleo from Elysium. I love my pencil brushes, keeping that. This is from Dose of Colors. It's just one of those double-sided. I don't need to keep that. Oh, I used to use this every single day. The NARS, was it 47 or 42 or 44? Those are the numbers of the ones I used to use all the time. 44, <laughs> keeping that one. Anastasia 7B. This isn't one of my favorite ones for brows. I'm gonna let that go. Another 228, keeping that. See, my other NARS brush. This is the one I like to use when I'm using a liquid. Is this the 47? Yes, this is the 47. All of my refer number threes, staying with me. Bristles Beauty EO3DM. I love it. Tiny little crease brush. Another 210. This one is from Laura Mercier. It is like a lash smudger, but it's a little too small for me. Like I find it to take a little bit more time than I want. So I'm gonna let that one go. This one is just frayed. It is so frayed. This, this is the 209 from Max. I'm gonna let that one go. The Linda Hallberg, what are you, 301? I like to use this for my lips, keeping that. Another dose of colors, letting that one go. MAC 219 brush, keeping that. The liner brush from Bristles Beauty, keeping it. And then this is the brow brush I do like from Anastasia. It's the number 12. Another 210 from MAC. And then the angled liner brush from Linda Hallberg, keeping that. Delium Tools. Uh, 718 tiny pencil. Hmm, definitely keeping that. This is a refer number 14. Yes, that is in the wrong spot, but we're definitely keeping it. This little guy from Beauty Blender. It's innovative, it's cool, but I don't I don't use it. So we're gonna let that one go. This is another smudger from Royal and Lang Nickel. I'm gonna let that one go. Oh my gosh, that scared me. I really thought something just went flying across the room. That's my lip brush from MAC. I'm, I'm keeping it. I guess it's on the floor for right now. Another one from Linda Hallberg. And then this is a tiny smudger, the 204 from BK Beauty. I'm keeping that one. I'm gonna let this one go. I think it's called the Wingman or something from Beauty Blender. Beauty Blender's brushes just were not worth it. Wayne Goss, number 20, absolutely keeping it. I'm undecided on this brush right here. This is the Isam W36. I'm gonna keep this because it's it's something that I haven't tried out a lot, so I wanna see if I end up using it. Another 219 from MAC, I'm keeping that. And then the Scott Barnes 60, love this for the lip. And then the Smith Cosmetics, I like this one better for going right along the lash line. This is the 220. Another 20 from Wayne Goss. This is the Chanel eyeshadow. It just says eyeshadow, but I like to use it for the lower lash line. BK Beauty 207, keeping that. And then this one is from Lunar Beauty, the E4. I like this. Again, the tiny little packing brushes I really enjoy. Refer 23. This one. This brush is so weird. I don't like this brush. It's the NARS. What is it? I don't see the number on here, but it's an angled brush and I have tried and tried and tried to like this, but I don't like this. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of it. And again, this is another one. This is more along the lines of the size I want when I want it to be more precise. Uh, Laura Mercier one, this is the MAC 212, keeping that. Another one from BK Beauty that I've already talked about. Wayne Goss number seven, keeping that. This is a pencil brush from Kylie. I'm gonna go ahead and let that one go. Like I said, they've just gotten a little itchy scratchy. T05 from Isam. This is another good one. And then a tiny brush from Nabla. I don't even know if they make these permanently or not, but I really like the Nabla brushes. Lash Line Smudger, keeping it. And I'm also gonna keep this one from Scott Barnes, number 59. The Brow Duo from Stelazzi, this is a good one. I'm gonna keep that. This is another tiny one from BK Beauty, and this is another one I've already talked about. Ultra Precision Flat Liner from Stelazzi. I'm gonna let this one go. Blending Brushes, this is in the very first compartment. BK Beauty, 
EO1DL, absolutely keeping it. Again, Stelazi, I really need to put this one over one. I love that. All of my Zoeva 227s, we are keeping. There's one Zoeva 227 that is strange. It is itchy. None of my other ones are, but there's just one that is, and I can't stand it whenever I find it and I pick it up. I'm like, ah, no. The Stelazi L211, I'm keeping that one. This is another refer number 14. Another refer number 14. <laughs> I'll tell you, I really don't think that Smith brushes, they're good workhorse brushes and there are some really great ones in the line, especially for the face. But when it comes to the eyes, unless you're okay with itchy, scratchy workhorse, then I wouldn't suggest them. They do work well, but they are kind of pokey. This is the Smith 235 and the 230. I'm going to keep those. I actually used one today to put on my shadow. The very first one I got, it came broken. I was so upset, but uh, yeah, it's just, they're, they're pretty itchy. This is from BK Beauty, the 202. I'm definitely keeping my Tom Ford brushes and this is, oh, well, let me tell you what this is. I use this a lot for my nose. I have another one right here. <laughs> this is the number 11. I have it both in natural hair and synthetic. This is the Smith 232. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. <laughs> Wayne Goss, definitely keeping this. The number six, that's the squirrel. And my MAC 217s, I am going to keep, that's another Wayne Goss, another Refer 14, another Wayne Goss 17. This is again the <laughs> <laughs> this is the synthetic version of the Tom Ford number 11, Wayne Goss 18. Oh, and I love these new ones from, this is what I'm talking about. These are really great synthetic brushes. This is the Esam V33, keeping that, Wayne Goss, keeping it, Tom Ford number 13. So good, so good, keeping that. This is the Wava. This one uh, is getting a little itchy, scratchy. It is the Stelazi large pointed. I don't find myself reaching for this enough to that, you know, I should just get rid of that one. This one though, I like a little bit better. Whoop, dropping one. It went down my shirt. <laughs> this is the precision crease blender. The one that went down my shirt is from Nabla. <laughs> this is the precision soft crease. I'm keeping that. And then I'm going to be keeping my, I don't think they're going to be making these anymore. I could be wrong, but I don't think they are. G34 from Esam. I have a few of these. And the S33s, I'm keeping those. I think that they're not making these anymore, and that makes me sad. Now, this is the other NARS brush I used to use all the time. It's a 42. So 42, 44, 47. I love those. This is the Zoeva. More Wayne Goss. You stay in here. Another Esam. This is a large powder from Stelazi. I don't, I don't use that one enough. This one is from BK Beauty, the 1201, keeping that number 13 from Refer, the number 13 synthetic. Don't love the synthetic. I'm gonna keep that Smith again, 247. And then this is the synthetic version of the 224 from MAC. And I actually like the synthetic version better than the original 224 because I found that after a few uses, the 224 was itchy on the eyes as well. Now, this is the By Mario EF2. I just thought about a tornado. <laughs> I'm keeping that and I'm keeping my BKB 206. So that is the initial uh, going through that drawer. Like I said, I do have more. Now I'm gonna go through some more brushes that were in my beauty room closet. Ah, this is where it gets interesting because I don't really know everything that's in them. <laughs> All right, this set right here, I wanna gift this to my mom. Ever since I got the Kiaki set from Sonia G, I really liked this one for travel because the tiny little brushes from Charlotte Tilbury, but I really, really, really like my Kiaki set. I kind of want to keep the, that would be mean. I need to give the box to my mommy too. <laughs> All right, so we're getting rid of that. Definitely going to get rid of this. This is the Royal and Lang Nickel Omnia BOM 195. I will say I really do enjoy the Omnia line. This is a really good like stamping and powder brush, but I remember it being something about anti-aging and I was like, what, what? It's from It Cosmetics, the Bye Bye Pores powder brush. 
good brush, don't use it. This is a really good foundation brush, but I have the one from BK Beauty. So I'm gonna let this one go. I know you guys are probably like screaming at me through the screen. It's the Marc Jacobs The Face 2. Go ahead and let that one go. I'm gonna let this one go. It is the Luxie 512, 512 Small Contouring. Don't need that. I wanna keep this, the small oval of the palm one from Artiste. I really like that brush. This used to be my microphone brush. I used to take this and just stamp powder into my skin. I think I wanna keep this one. You never know when you're gonna need that microphone again. This is another MAC 135, the natural hair. I am keeping that. Sigma F80 Kabuki. Like this was the original OG foundation brush. I actually have, I think I bought two that had the oil slick look to them. They're in just like my things that I have not opened up yet. So I'm not keeping that. This is the MAC 138, another one from my kit. Gonna get rid of it. Did not mean to rhyme. This one's really soft but I don't need it. Oh, it's the Milk Collection. Uh, I, I'm, this is a maybe, that's a maybe. I don't have too many of my babies. Oh, I used to use this quite a bit. It is the Real Techniques uh, Dual Fiber Face Brush. I used to use that one a lot, but I don't anymore. Again, another Mac. <laughs> I had all of the duplicates from my kit. It's just like I had my favorite brushes that I would use. This one right here, the 133, I am gonna keep that one. The 137, I'm gonna keep this one. It's really good for like dusting away any fallout and whatnot. And then see this, okay, I need to make a decision between the Sephora Milk and this one. Oh, they're too different though. No, I'm gonna keep the Milk one and I'm gonna let the BOM 141 go. Wayne Goss, I can't get rid of this. This is the foundation brush, the number one. That, I almost put that in the wrong side. See, another Kabuki. This is good from Royal and Lang Nickel, but I don't need it. This is, oh, this is really great for sculpting. 977 face sculpting, sculpting face, face sculpting. <laughs> Delium tools, gonna let that one go. I'm also gonna let this one go. Although I do think this is a really nice one just like to put on bronzer and whatnot. It is the Jumbo, it's Crown Brushes Jumbo Kabuki Fan. This is basically like the Luxie version of the MAC one I just kept, so I'm letting that one go. Oh my gosh, I used to use these so much to put on foundation. <gasps> what number? Like, I can't even see it. It's the MAC. Is it 167 short handle? I'm keeping that. <laughs> this one, I remember this one confusing me. I don't use it. It is the, I think it's like a concealer brush, but you can get the concealer right on the little nipple of this brush. It's from Elysium. I'm gonna let that one go. The little oval brushes, I am keeping this one. I'm gonna keep, oh, this is a maybe. This is the 161. I really like how this contoured the face, but it doesn't feel as soft. I'm just gonna let it go. I don't need to hoard things. NARS Eda brush, I don't use that anymore. I couldn't even tell you the last time. Oh, Sephora Pro Precision Foundation, that one's going. Let's see, I have another one of these, the 135 from MAC. I'm gonna keep it. Ooh, this one's so soft. This one's so soft. This is the Omnia BOM 180 from Royal and Lang Nickel. I'm gonna keep that. I'm not gonna keep any of these. Again, this is a brush I used to use all the time. It's the MAC 130. I believe it's just the 130. The numbers are off of a lot of these because I've used them so much. Paint style brush, don't use them. BOM 235. Another MAC 116, but this is the synthetic version. Bye bye. The Heart from It Cosmetics. I gotta keep that one. Another one of the dual fiber. These were like just like really artistic, neat brushes. 164, I'm letting it go. I just I, I just don't need to have all these. Oh, this one's really soft from Laura Mercier. I think it's just the blush brush, cheek color. I'm gonna let that one go. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let this one go as well. 943 Face Shading from Delium. I don't know what to do about this one. This is, I don't actually like this brush for putting on foundation, but I wonder if as my style changes, I kind of want to give this one another chance. 
It's the Marc Jacobs The Face 3. I'm gonna give this one another chance. Oh, another good kabuki. I have so many kabukis. This is from Elysium. Oh, this is a maybe. I'm gonna put that in the maybe. I'm not gonna keep this. This is from Mac, the Mac 132. It's a dual fiber. This is the Synthetic 168. Uh -uh, don't want it. Oh yeah. This is the Kevin Aqua. It came with one of the foundations. It's a really good like travel size, but not keeping it. All right, I've kept enough of these. <laughs> the 153, getting rid of that one. This is a ginormous foundation brush, but it actually feels pretty good putting foundation on, but no. BOM 142, let that one go. I used to use this one quite a bit. Real Techniques, I don't remember, buffing brush. I, I'm gonna let it go, but I have memories, and then this is the same brush that I mentioned earlier. This is a Real Techniques contour brush, letting that one go. Oh, this is a good fan one. But it's the highlighting fan, which I could never use this to highlight. I just couldn't do it. This is the 991.5 Delium. Goodbye. This is one of the ones from Smith that I do like, but I don't use a lot. I feel like this is a maybe. The 151, it's a maybe. The MAC 135 Synthetic, it can go bye-bye. This is the MAC version of the Artiste. I believe the other one I put in there was as well, but it's the smaller one. I'm gonna let this one go. Oh, and I'm, I'm keeping this one. I don't know when I'll use it again, but if I get really back into cream products, I really like this for applying um, like sculpting products or even the Chanel, Soleil Tande Chanel, the OG. I'm keeping that one. What is this? The, the shape. This one's going bye-bye. It is the Delium Precision Blusher. I'm gonna let this one go as well. The 167 Short Handle from MAC. Two more Artiste brushes. I'm gonna keep this one. This is the Linear One, but I'm gonna let this one go. This like rounded, what is this called? Circle One, that one can go. Ah, 310 from Melinda Hallberg, keeping that. This is the Milk Collaboration Sephora. I don't, I don't need that one, I don't need that one. And then another Kabuki from MAC, this is the 196. Letting it go. I'm so proud of how many I'm letting go. <laughs> Delium Tools, dual fiber face shading. Don't need it. Uh, 167 or 168. I don't know. The number is off of it, but it's from MAC. Letting that one go. This is from the Sublimage from Chanel. Don't need that. This is a mini. <laughs> it is from Sephora. I don't need that one. And then... um. Short handle, flat foundation brush, another 153 for MAC. Delium, tapered highlighting. I don't need, the, certain brushes I wanna have a lot of and then some I don't, and that's just a style that I don't. And then the Sigma tapered highlight. I'm gonna let that one go. All of these are brushes that I just clean and I obviously use, so I'm not gonna be getting rid of them. A lot of them you have seen before because they're multiples. Let me see. I'm gonna go through them super, super quickly. This one right here is the Lunar Beauty E2. I like this one. I don't love it, but I like it enough to keep it. The BK Beauty 206, I'm keeping that. And then the Lunar Beauty E3. <laughs> <laughs> MAC 221, the original, I love that. Zoeva, Wayne Goss, Refer, Refer 15. If you're interested in that, was it Tom Ford 13? This is the good dupe for that. Refer number one. This one is from Makeup by Mario. It is the E3, I am keeping that. Bristles Beauty EO2RL, I love those. I finally used this. I didn't use it for a while. I complained about this brush. I don't use it for its intended purposes, which is the conceal from Marc Jacobs, but I do use it to put on my eye primer. Same thing with this Milk Makeup and Sephora brush, and then I have another Zoeva 227. Another Bristles Beauty, another Refer, another Wayne Goss, MAC 221, another Bristles Beauty, another 227. Those are just duplicates 
Um, I'm just gonna put the duplicates away. <laughs> okay, so you're not hearing me say the same thing. I love this brush from Rare Beauty. It is the concealer brush, so I'm keeping it. This one is from Mario. It is the E5, keeping that. And then I love this pencil tapered brush from Etham V31, keeping it. And I have a couple of these the 306 from Linda Hallberg. I'm gonna keep my T7, and then I haven't shown you one of these quite yet, so this is the refer number 21, which is very similar to the MAC 242, which I will keep all of my MAC 242s. Speaking of which, MAC 242. <laughs> this is from Lunar Beauty, it is the E6. I like this, the pencil brush detail. And then this one right here is from Nabla. It is the highlighter brush, keeping that one. Refer, refer. Oh, this one's so good. Bristles Beauty PO6 RF, like this tiny little square is perfect. And then this new one from Esam, it is the V29, love this, as well as the V27. Linda Hallberg 304, I'm keeping that. I, mm, I feel like... I don't need this one. It's the Royal Inlay Nickel BOM 400. I'm gonna let that one go. Smith 256, I'm gonna keep that. This one, again, see, I used this one from Kylie. It is the number 15. I would just go like right here on my pores and if I wanted a large dusting of a shadow, but again, it's gotten a little stiffer, so we can let that one go. This is from Envision, the number one. Uh, again, this one's gotten a little stiffer. There is a brush that I want to keep from them, but not that one. MAC 221, I'm keeping. Omnia line from Royal and Lang Nickel. I love the BOMs. It's just the natural hair ones. They're so nice. And then this is the Mario E4. I'm going to keep that. This one, I don't think they make anymore. It is the Chanel number 20. I love this. Another refer and another of the BK Beauty. See all my refer number 21s? <laughs> Those are more. <laughs> That's the prototype and the ones that they actually made. And then I have a ton of the number threes, like a ton of the number threes, as well as the 23, which is just a little smaller. It's like half the size of the three the 23. A bunch of those little small square brushes from Bristles Beauty. All right, I'm gonna keep this one. This is the Royal and Lang Nickel BOM 435. I really like this pointed uh, like pencil brush, but this one I'm gonna let go is the BOM 485. So bye bye to that one. Refer, bristles, MAC 283. Well, this is a new one from Esam V09. Love that tiny little brush. And then this one is another similar tiny brush from Lunar Beauty, the E7. I'm gonna let this one go. I really like the handles on these because they don't roll off the table. And I used to use the Delium tools quite a bit, but I have found other ones that I like. And it's not that I don't like these anymore, it's just that I am using other brushes. This is the 765 Small Angled Shader. Tiny brush from Esam, the T09, keeping that. And then Wayne Goss and the Sigma Shader Inner Corner, I actually use this for my lips. These were just cleaned from Wayne Goss's The Artist Collection. I'm keeping those. I'm gonna show you the brushes really quickly that I use today. The Refer number six, and then I use the BK Beauty 108. That was for my blush. Smith 230, Tom Ford 11, Refer number three, and then uh, this one's actually a MAC 242. My Lunar year brush from Beautylish. I used that one today. And then the Delium 938 Blending Concealer. I used that. A MAC 217. And I used the number 12 from Anastasia. The 252. Like I'm putting all these up so they don't get confused. All right, let's go through some more. I don't know what to do about this one. I really like this one. I don't use it, I was using it a lot and I'm not anymore. It's the MAC 140S, so that's gonna go in the maybe pile. Definitely keeping this baby. Oh, this makes me wonder if I need to keep that microphone brush. This is the BK Beauty 105. La Mer, I don't use this one as much as I used to, but the powder brush I am definitely keeping. Gonna let this one go, it's from Laura Mercier. I, it's just one of those dual fiber, I just don't use them like I used to. Uh, refer number 24. 
This is my baby. I'm keeping that. MAC, I don't even remember the number anymore. 129, I think. Natural hair. I'm going to let that one go. This one from Beauty Blender is actually a nice brush. It had a ball on the end of it. I pulled all the balls off all the brushes. I'm going to keep this one. I do like this powder brush. The P22, which is the bronzer brush from Refer. Keeping that um, Alamar complexion brush. This one's good. It's not one of my favorites. I'm gonna let that one go. Um, the 126 from Zoeva. I'm gonna keep that one. This is the original Tom Ford. Uh, is the other one in here as well? No, it's not in here. This is the original Tom Ford bronzer brush, which is amazing. I wish they didn't turn them synthetic, but they did. This is a good one. It's, I don't know if you can hear it. It's coming apart. So this is the Golden Triangle Powder Blending. Let that one go. This is a really good powder brush as well. Like how many powder brushes do I need? A lot. BOM 100, maybe. This is a waste of money. Pat McGrath, this, I'm gonna keep this one. I know the other one I'm gonna get rid of as soon as I see it. Oh, I put that in the wrong one. I'm keeping it just because it is softer. Not worth the price, don't buy it for the price. Alamar bronzer brush. I don't really like the little divots or whatever is all over the top of this, so I'm gonna let that one go. This is it. This one's going bye-bye. Oh, this is the Pat McGrath, I guess it's the powder brush. It is not worth it. It is not worth it. The Zoeva 127, I'm gonna let this one go. Tom Ford, Tom Ford, Tom Ford. The number two from Tom Ford, keeping that. The number six from Tom Ford, I'm keeping that. And then this is another refer. I used to love this one, another Kabuki. I really loved Kabuki brushes for putting on foundation. This one's from Bare Minerals. I don't need it though. Wayne Goss, I'm keeping it. Oh, I love this one from Royal and Lang Nickel BOM 36, keeping that one. This is a fan brush from Refer. And again, it's one of those that has a good size and a good thickness to it. So I'm gonna keep that. I don't need another powder brush, I really don't. And I think this is a duplicate of one that I already put in my giveaway. So I'm gonna give that one away. Smith 154, I'll keep it. Uh, I like this one. This is the It uh, Love Beautifully. I don't know. It's a nice little powder brush or bigger powder brush, really. Smith 118. I like the face brushes better than I do the eye brushes, but still there are better ones on the market. Anastasia Beverly Hills A30. I'm going to let that one go. This is the Scott Barnes 68. I just don't get along with those anymore. Milani Blush Brush. I'm going to keep that one. I like the texture of that one. This is a backup of one of my Sonia G. It's going to stay in its little plastic until I need to open it. <laughs> All right, this is the Esam X52. I am definitely keeping that. I think I accidentally bought two of these, the 115 from Smith Cosmetics. I'm keeping that. And then these are more refer brushes. I'm keeping those. Okay, what's next? This is the first drawer in my Cosmo Cube, as well as some brushes that I recently just washed. All of my BK Beauty brushes I am keeping, so no question about that. This one from Elysium, I actually really like it, but I don't need it. It is the Yori. It's a great brush, but I don't need it. Wayne Goss, I've been using this one a lot for my bronzer. It's the number 11. And then refer number five. I have several of the refer number fives in here. A23 from Anastasia. This is another one of the Easton brushes I just showed you. Bristol's Beauty, keeping those. I'm gonna let this one go. It just keeps sitting over here and I wash it because it gets dusty, but that's it. Uh, it's the It Cosmetics Double Ended. I don't even know what it is. It is a good brush, but I don't use it. Another refer bronzer brush. Stelazi L320. I used to use this quite a bit for highlight, but I don't use it anymore. I'm going to let that one go. I like this one from Alamar. It is the brightening brush. I'm keeping that. This one from Envision. What number? This is number three. I like this for buffing powder into my smile lines and whatnot for touching up. It's great. I use this quite a bit from Kylie, but I, 
I don't need it. I really liked it for around my mouth. It is the number three. I'm letting that one go. Refer number five. More of my artist brushes from Wayne Goss. Definitely keeping those. All right, time for the home stretch. I just have two more little bins that I need to go through. And while I was waiting for my camera to uh, stop overheating, I kind of sectioned some of them off. I'm gonna be getting rid of all of my Delium Tools Golden Triangle. There's several different ones in here that I, I used to really like. There's pencil brushes, blending brushes. I'm gonna keep these two. So all of these I am going to get rid of. Again, I do like them. It's just, I have more and more and more and I can't keep this many. But these two I absolutely love, especially for a light powder application on my pores. It is the 785, I think. Seven, what number are you? Yeah, I'm right, 785, keeping these. Now the Royal and Lane Nickel Omnia, I think this is the Pro line, I believe, I believe these are synthetic, I believe. I am going to keep this blender, this smaller definer. I'm gonna give away the tiny angled brush and the smudger, I'm keeping the little detail. I'm gonna let this one go. And this tiny little fan, I just don't use those. I'm gonna let this, I think this is, I think this is a double. <laughs> and I'm gonna let this one go. I'm keep, keeping the pointer, and then I have several of these that I have kept, so I'm gonna let those go. And then the Royal and Lang Nickel. I think these are the natural hair. I love these so I don't think I'm getting rid of any of these you have tapered blenders in here the larger blenders just everything some packing brushes this is I would say the only one that I don't really use it is the BOM 40 I can let that one go and maybe this one right here it's, it's so tiny like I like detailed brushes but this one's really tiny it is the brow definer hmm, yeah I don't know it's not really my shape. But then all the rest of these I am going to keep because I really like that line. And then <laughs> Esom, I told you I had more of these. <laughs> the uh, T43, I knew I had more. And then I've already spoken about those, keeping those, but I'm not gonna be keeping the duplicates of the others. I have two Luxie brushes here. Not something that I use anymore, I'm gonna let those go. I'm gonna keep these two Linda Hallberg brushes, the 304 and the 303. But then this one, this isn't really a solid brush I get along with too much. The 305, I'm gonna let that one go. I've gone back and forth. This is Scott Barnes number 61. I'm gonna keep this one because I think it is unique and I know I like it on my nose. I'm gonna let the Nabla liner go. I'm keeping my Sigma E25 and the Lunar Beauty E5. Scott Barnes number 62, this is a good blending brush. I'm keeping that one. This is another one that had the little roller ball from <laughs> Beauty Blender. I like the brush, didn't like the ball, so I pulled it off. I'll keep that. And I'm gonna keep both of these. It's another Sigma. No, I'm not gonna keep this one. I'm not a huge fan of this one from Lunar Beauty. It's the E1. It's the only one that I don't really use. And then I like the Sigma version a little bit better. The Mini Definer from Stelazzi, I am keeping. And then, we have, oh, this is a tiny little, and I don't use this one. This is an angled liner from Stelazzi. This one from Beauty Blender, I pulled the ball off. I'm letting that one go. The Elysium Zuri, I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna keep this one though, the Nuri. And this one from Luxie, I'm gonna let it go. And then this tiny one from Delium Tools, that one's going. All right, these are last of my face brushes. Can't get rid of this one from Wayne Goss. I believe that was a holiday one. And number 25 from Refer, gotta keep that. The new Bristles Beauty Powder Brush, I love it. I am keeping too many powder brushes. I'm gonna keep this one from Royal and Lang Nickel because I use it a lot. And I'm gonna go ahead and make some decisions on these. So this one from Royal and Lang Nickel, the BOM 100, I'm gonna let that one go. And I'm gonna let this one go from MAC. And I'm gonna keep this one from Tom Ford. It's too expensive for it to be a synthetic brush. I'm gonna keep it, but honestly, the only reason why I'm keeping it is because of the amount of money I've spent on it. The Elysium Kabuki, I'm gonna let that one go. And I'm gonna let the milk makeup one go. 
I'm gonna keep this Milk Makeup Kabuki and I'm gonna let this Artiste one go. Okay, so we made some decisions there. I feel good about that. This powder brush from Royal and Lang Nickel B136, keeping, definitely keeping the Wayne Goss number 12. And I love this one from Sonia Kashuk. This is the large powder brush. Yeah, large powder. Keeping that one, another one from Refer. Uh, I love these, I love them. They're over here, that's why I'm putting them over there. But my artist brushes from Wayne Goss, I have to have those. And then I finally took this one out of its box after I got the one from Kelsey. This is the Surratt powder brush. Keeping that, duh. This is the one I was talking about replacing the Marc Jacobs. This is the BK Beauty 101. Three more, BK Beauty 103, 104, and 102. So that means I'm gonna let this one go, Elysium. I do like Elysium brushes, so I don't want it to come off like I don't, I just have a ton. This is K-I-A-N, and I'm keeping this. This is one of the best ones, in my opinion, for a Kabuki to put on foundation. It is the MAC 170. And oh, I, see, I love, 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 love. My favorite synthetic ones, just off the top of my head, are the new Isom ones, the BK Beauty, and I know I'm, I'm missing one. Oh, I can't remember. Okay, but this is the V49. I'm obsessed with that. This one from Isom, the X51 I am keeping. I love this tiny one from Royal and Lang Nickel. It is the BOM38. I use that a lot for blush. See, <laughs> I wanna keep this one, but I'm not going to. It's the Delium Golden Triangle tapered powder let that one go keeping this this is from royal and lang nickel bom 34 so it's a smaller version of the 36 Esum keeping this v50 a bunch of wayne goss i believe that this is the synthetic which is actually so soft and then this is the natural hair i love both of those keeping those and then this one oh my gosh I got this in my, um, sorry, my voice is trying to go out. I got this in my Lucky Box, and I just, I love that brush. I thought I had it, but I didn't. And then this is the number two from Wayne Goss. I'm keeping that one. This is the MAC 227 Natural Hair. Keeping that one. More powder brushes. Delazi Blush L311. I'm going to let you go, but that is a good one. I love this one right now, especially for my YSL highlighting powder. This is the Esom T47. And then two more brushes. I do like this brush, but I don't use it a lot. The BOM41. I'm going to let it go. And then the Cheek Shaper from Nabla. Great brush but I'm gonna let it go. And that is it. I did pretty good. I got rid of all of these, or I mean, I'm getting rid of all of these and all of these. So I think I did pretty good. I, I got rid of more than I thought I was going to be able to. It's so refreshing to go through and declutter. It really, really is. And these brushes have been well loved. All of them I have used a ton, so. They've been used and I've loved them and now it's somebody else's turn to love them. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed decluttering my brush collection with me. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you beauties in my next video. Bye guys.